and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Cyberpunk 2077. And last time we came here to this little area and um, broke in and looted the place something fierce. And now we're going to go and find some cyber psychos. So, let's get into it. Alright, what's up here? Just spotted this ladder. Oh, can we, yep. That was a bit weird. Can we go in here? No. Um, I don't quite understand the... Whoa! Okay, what the hell? It's haunted. The place is haunted. Let's just get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Good grief. Oh, don't like that. Not at all. Not one bit. Right, let's go and uh, get, get the bike and go to the... Uh, the cyber psycho in question. Hey, He's up this way. Okay. Oh, well, we're out of Dogtown and officially back into Night City, which is good because I do enjoy Night City. Marques. Why does that name ring a bell? Marques. I don't know. All right. Get over to the right side of the street, shall we? <laughs> Driving on the... well... This is technically driving on the wrong side of the road for me. Because obviously I live in the UK and we drive on this side of the road. Okay. I wonder who this person's going to be, this cyber psycho. We'll, uh, we'll have to be careful, I think. I'm going to try and not kill any more of these cyber psychos because I know she wants them alive. I don't know how many we can get away with killing. If any. Alright. Down here. About You're about to what? Whoa, whoa! Turn it out into me? What are you doing? Alright. So how do we get in? Ah, there we go. Oh, oh Regina, hello. Hey heard about a massacre at a homeless camp. Send you the info I have so far, but it's pretty thin. You probably already gathered it's a cyber psycho. Yeah. Oh, and I prefer if he didn't die. I can try, man. I promise nothing. Alright, let's um let's have a look, shall we? Um Okay. What'd you say? Oh, If this is a cyber psycho, it's pretty damn odd. Could be a net runner. Can't quite rule out a remote attack. Still, what would they be looking for in an Ari Arroyo bum camp? Excuse me. Something's off here. Pop over and check it out. All right. Not a problem will do. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna have to be a little, little careful here. Um, okay, I want to just... Okay, so... What's that? That is a turret. Um, yeah, we'll leave the turret off, I think, because I don't... Um... I just get the feeling that the turret will probably just kill them off the bat, and I don't really want that. There are two turrets. Why would there be two turrets here? Hello? Anyone in? Okay. Oh damn. Oh, Dead oh, bomb. Well. Oh dear. This is not good, is it? Okay. That is a big pile of bodies. These are making me a little edgy, I'm not gonna lie. But well what's this? Alright. Ah! 
couple of what? Trying to be very mindful of <coughs> of actually shooting them dead. So I don't really want to do that. Down, but not dead. Cripple movement. Sounds good. Sounds like a good hack. Alright, so we've got to search the area. See? I knew I had to be nervous about these turrets. God bless it. Uh, truth about Sabbath. We've already read that. What was, the, what, was, what was the note we did pick up? Let's have a look here. Okay. Archive conversation. Fred Reed and Moore Jones. Fred. Moore, Moore, got a girl. Moore. Congrats to you. Everyone deserves a little love and happiness. Fred, no, not that kind of girl. More. What kind, then? Fred, someone tossed her in the sewer. Looks like a net runner. Probably thought she was dead. More. Choom, are you trying to get your butt zeroed? Fred, what? More. Leave her alone. This shiz never ends well. Fred, nah, come on. That's just a superstition. More. I'm not being superstitious. Fred, anyway, need some meds for her. You grab me something? She needs help. She's barely breathing. More. Should just take her to a ripper. Fred. No, do it, should do it myself. No idea who's after her. Okay? Okay. So, okay. Hmm. Is there anything else here? Ooh. Bullets. We'll, we'll take the bullets. Why not? What is that? Something useful? A stress ball. Not right now. Anything else? I mean, ooh. Tamara Cosby. Valentino's, eh? Is there something over here? Ah, there we go. Tablet or something? What's this? Ah, here we go. Archive conversation. Tamara Cosby and Tony Luddick. Tamara. Hey, Tony, can you send me some more stuff, please? Yesterday I fell asleep in the tub and must have frozen my fingers because I can't feel anything. Scammed all the Valentino's haunts and still can't find him. It's like Lely... It's like Lely vanished into thin air. No digital traces, nothing. Tony. None at all? Maybe check at the dollhouse. But it's pretty hard to breach their sub. Maybe just give it a rest. He'll come back to us once he gets homesick. Maybe he just needs some space. Don't say I didn't warn you about the Valentinos. They're like that. One day they're professing their everlasting love. The next day they disappear. Sin parola. And all you get left is... And all you got left are some dirty socks. Tamara. Don't even try to pull that I told you so shiz on me. You don't even know him. And you're putting him in a box with everyone else. And FYI, he does his own laundry. Listen, these fingers are as good as new... Uh, listen, these fingers are as good as dead now. Can you set me up with some Gannic implants? Tony, all right, just relax and let me get... Tony, all right, just relax and get some rest. I'll get what you need. Just promise me you'll get some shut-eye. Interesting. Just at. I am not eating sushi off the floor. Because that's gross. Anything else here? Hmm. What's this? Can't fit documents. Okay. Alright, let's message Regina. Tell her the good news. Your cyber psycho is alive and well. 
<sighs> Psycho was a young runner. Think she must have OD'd, then ducked outside at the last minute, afraid she'd be left to rot a lol low. Psycho was a young runner. Think she must have OD'd, then ducked outside at the last minute, afraid she'd be left to rot all alone. One of the bums from the camp took her in, but when she woke up, her mind was cracked. Guess she thought they kidnapped her. Who knows? Maybe there wasn't a thought at all between her ears. Just a droning buzz. But anyway, she awaits your mystery treatment. It won't be easy to reverse what she went through, but I'm glad you didn't kill her nonetheless. With the right care, she might just get back up on her feet. Possibly, Regina. Possibly, my dear. Who can say? She's currently got what looks like a shopping cart in between her legs, but never mind. Alright, well, there you go. Another Cyber Psycho dealt with. Bam! Okay. Let's take a little... A little peep at our map, shall we? Okay. So, I think... It looks like our nearest... What's that? Our rental. One-time fee. Ooh! Are there other houses that we can we can have? I mean, where well, we've got that and that one. What's... What, what? Sabotage target here. Oh, these are like little side jobs. Hey! Okay. What's that? Judy's little thingy. Tarot card. Hey, cool. I wonder if there's any near us right now. Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. That is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Uh, what's this gig? Thievery. Hmm. Well, I note there was another cyber psycho over here somewhere, so maybe we should go and have a look at that. It is my aim, after all, to uh, get all the cyber psychos, so let's do that. Motorcycle! Come hither. Oh, it's there. Never mind. I don't need it to come hither. Excuse me, boys. Can I just... Yeah, thank you. Right, so they're over there. Um, Alright, let's... Let's let's just, just be careful. Oh, God bless it! Am I high? Are you... Oh, you're a cop. Sorry. I thought you were the cyber psycho. I got quite excited. Alright, so are they... Are they inside something here? Maybe, maybe in this wall? Hmm. Okay. Let's, let's have a look. Ah, yes. Some kind of park. Hey! Alright. Okay, let's just, just have a look here. Let's reload our, um, weaponry. to ensure we're fully prepped. Reload Johnny's... I keep calling it Johnny's gun, but it's ours now. Okay. Alright. So, 125 metres in. Put that away so we can actually move with some haste. So, in there. Okay. Oh, I see a mine. I see a mine. Oh, God. Regina, hello. A few Zeta Tech corporals walked into an auto shop. Yes. The punchline, none came back out. All right. Apparently, it's a family business that's fallen on hard times. Okay. My hunch is the owners finally snapped. And you know I got a nose for this stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. Well... Oh, Regina, for crying out loud, woman. <laughs> got noises coming from an auto shop. Sounded like a series of explosions. My take... Either the roof collapsed or someone's gone cyber psycho. Surely they have. Okay. Let's just be careful here. Hello? Can we get up here? Hmm. Can we maybe get on the roof? <laughs> All right, the newspapers. Yeah. There we go. So, oh, so it is over the other side of this wall. Can we? Hey, oh, what? What the hell? 
stupid barbed wire, man. Do you suppose we could just... Who are you, dude? Gaston Phillips. And what's your deal? He's the cyber psycho. Hmm. Wait, yep. There you go. Hey, hey. God bless it. Bloody minds. I suppose we could. Could we? Could we? Yes. We could. All right. Uh... Bottoms. God bless it, Bobby. Well, Hurt, bro. Oh, God, please. V. This, this, this works. The dude can... Okay, maybe I didn't really mean to do that bit, but... How did he... How did he do that? There we go. Oh, he's still a lot. Okay, he's inside a box. Stop, don't do it. What's this? Let this be a warning to anyone thinking about buying this shop. Don't be fooled by the fantastic location or top shelf equipment. Because guess what? None of it will be yours. Even after you sign whatever agreement the corp gives you. What? You surprised? Well, so was I. I shouldn't have been, though. It was right there in front of my eyes in black and white. I didn't want to waste my time reading some complicated agreement with more twists than that Apple novel by a certain Virginia. I also didn't bother doing my research or else I would have found out the shop changed hands three times already this year and the previous owners disappeared without a trace, except their debts, that is. All I can say is I've dealt with my fair share of gangs looking for protection money or a one-time heist, but nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever fudged me over quite like the suits at Zeta Tech. So, I've got only one answer for them. A wrench to the face and a vice to their fingers. Okay, so they did him over. They screwed him. Damn! Holy guacamole! So that's the, yeah, foreclosure notice. Ooh, here we go. Due to the failure to uphold the terms of the agreement number UPL slash 12064 and failure to respond to letter of demand for outstanding payment number 11055 in accordance with paragraph 628 of the aforementioned agreement, the real property shall become the property of Zeta Tech within two days of receipt of this document. This decision is not subject to appeal. Well, I mean, you did yourselves. You're foolish. Can we... Um, yep, there we go. Yep, dead corpos everywhere. Damn, can we go in the shop? No? Well... Okay, lots of mines for us to disarm. Which is good. All useful, all useful, you know. Nearly. You see that? Nearly. Could have all gone horribly wrong there. Okay, okay. It may still... Okay. Jesus. 
Over there. Okay. I wasn't fast enough. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. The dead corpo. Really? Nothing else? Huh. Wow, they really did screw this dude, didn't they? Alright, well. Ah, here we go. The truth in the matter. Okay, that's garbage. Need someone to watch your back. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so, license what license? Hey, I got a cease and desist from Zeta Tech. They say I'm using that lift in my shop without a license. What is this? I bought the whole shop from them, spent my life savings on it. They want to get me again because of some license? Could you check and see if they made a mistake somewhere? And what sort of eddies are we talking about here? Gaston and I contacted Zeta Tech on your behalf, and it does seem that the equipment in the shop was not included in the deed. You bought the shop building four walls the floor and ceiling that's it i asked about the price of the tech but they were unable to give an estimate because the shop in which it's located has been bought out okay uh but i'm the one who bought it out think i would know so what do we do now now they have to buy it back from you and since prices have fallen in the area you stand to lose a fair amount but then we have priority to buy it back and if we want to speed up the process, we could give them an offer right now to purchase the shop and equipment along with the loan approval for whatever is needed to cover the difference. That's the good news. Bad news is the equipment costs about double the shop itself. Fine. I don't know. Go ahead and file that loan application so I don't lose my chance. Then I'll think it over some more. Besides, what's a shop without equipment? I can't even work without it. All right, Gaston, it's ready. I just need your signature and you can reopen. Great, thanks for your help. It's hard to deal with this all by myself. I'm going back to work, finally. Aw, oh, poor dude, man. He just wanted to earn a living. And the soulless corpse decided to shaft him. How typical. Okay. I really have got to be quicker than that, have I not? Okay. Oops, never mind. Oh, Jesus, they're everywhere. Okay. Is there any way to actually get in the shop, or is that it? I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, well, never mind. I mean, poor dude. That's garbage. Actual garbage. But at least he's alive. At least he's alive. That's that's something, isn't it? All right, let's, let's get in touch with Regina. Regina! Good news. Auto shop owner was on a, mo on a rampage, but I managed to put him to sleep. The way corpse here gobble up small businesses, it's almost painful to watch. Before they even clock what's happening, the owners are locked out of their own premises and slapped with a colossal debt. Then they bust their butts for the corp from morning to midnight to meet make ends meet. Looks like this one preferred to take his own life than give up the one place that was his. See how quickly the American dream can turn into the American nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. Bloody, bloody, bloody Zeta Tech. How awful, man. Uh, let's just put that away. Oaky Grill and Scop House. So, wash and run? Okay. Well, alright. Let's, um, let's have a look and see if there's any more cyber psychos nearby. Oh my god, there's loads of them. So, wow, what's this? Turns out the daily shady grind in Night City is good for biz. Want to make a quick eddy? Go here, learn about the gig, do it, and in return you'll get cash, street cred, and access to more gigs. Ooh, should we do another gig or should we find another cyber psycho? Maybe, maybe we'll do a gig. Just, you know, just for shizzes and gigs. <laughs> okay. And it's not that far, actually. Um, motorcycle! Come here, please. Very good. Let's go. Let's go! It's literally just round the corner. Hey, brilliant. Okay, I wonder what it is. Okay. Let's 
bump up on the curb and uh, dismount. There we go. So it's over here. Okay. Oh, what the? Did I just witness a hit and run? Was that a hit and run? Damn. Dude, you got messed up. Damn. Okay. Transcript trauma team dispatch? What's this? Okay. Call start. Charlie. Where the fudge are you, trauma team? We apologise for the delay. We must resolve a formality before our service can be provided. Charlie. The fudge are you? Indecipherable cry of pain. Trauma team. Sir, are you alright? Your vitals are displaying further damage. Charlie. I'm gonna die out here like a fudging gonk. Die, you fudgers! Uh, operator trauma. Would you describe the situation you are currently in as life-threatening? Charlie. Come on, you piece of shiz. Just move your head a little bit. Die! Hello? You deltering over here yet? Trauma team. Dispatch. Sir, according to our system, your membership expired last week. Since then, your account has been seized by law enforcement. Charlie. Come on, people. I'm dying out here. We'll settle the bill later. Just quit stalling. Please, for fudge's sake. I'm good for it. I swear on my mother's life. Trauma team. We apologise, sir, but we cannot help you. Call end. Wow. I mean, wow. I feel like that's a little bit of a nod. or Well, not a nod, but a little bit of a dig at um, the healthcare system in the US because I believe it's kind of like, well, you don't have insurance, therefore you get no healthcare, which is kind of poopy. In the UK, we have the NHS, which, granted, it's not the best, but you know what? It's free. And if you were shot and dying, they'd look after you. So, can I... Hello? Am I allowed out, please? Thank you. Good grief. Woo! Well, this is kind of nice. All right. So, it's round this way. Back down. Oh, is it round the outside of here? Ah, I see, I see. Good Lord. What was the point in going up, then? We went up to come down. What? Okay. On a tight leash, what's this? Uh V this time padre. I need you to restore the natural balance in this city. Okay. A Valentino dropped the cup and has gone unpunished. Oh. You can change that. Okay. If you find out who's covering for the gang, I'll be extra. Spec attached. Padre. Cool. Alright, let's have a look. Uh Gig type, gun for hire, neutralise Jose Luis, location, bus depot on Benko Street, details. A few weeks ago, a police officer was shot dead. Same old story, some Valentino kids got into a scrap with the badges. The fatal piece of lead was shot by a ganger named Jose Luis. The investigation was dropped and officers from the local precinct were told to back off. Pretty interesting turn of events, wouldn't you say? Jose must have some friends in high places. Here's the deal. One of the officers wants Jose to be brought to justice, which is where you come in. If you happen to find out who's protecting the Valentino, I'll throw in extra. Good luck. So that's him, is it? Good God. Okay. All right. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Calm down. It was an accident. Okay. Do we have to be a little sneaky here? Oh. So, these are just NC residents. Alright. Don't mind me, sir. Cafe used to work here. Real standard citizen, huh? Oh. An understatement. Franco Tirador. What a name is that? Yeah. My old man had a heavy hand, too. Always be asked. Gangoons. Are there any uh, CCTV cameras here that we can patch into? I'm not seeing any, which is kind of Where's annoying. my god? <laughs> oh, fuck off. You know the worst thing? Hmm. Just sat on our couch. Hold on. Okay. 
So she's going to take a call. I'm just kind of here. I'm not doing anything. Aha, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Can we... Camera. Perfection. Let's have a look. Okay, so who are you? A seasoned thug? Sicario? Gangoon? Somebody else over there? That fella whose name I struggled to pronounce? Another Gangoon? Okay. So this is the, this is the roof area? Ah, this is where he is. Could we get up here? Oh. There may be a way. There may be a way. Okay, what else? Any ah! Sanguinario. And that's... Ah, down the side way here. Ooh, there's a ladder. We could use the... Use the ladder with these folks. Okay, all right, all right. So, oh, let's uh, turn off the camera. There you go. Okay, so there's a ladder somewhere down here. Oh, God. Bloody, bloody, bloody camera. Well, we can take care of that. That's easy enough. There you go. Camera's done. Okay. Okay. So that's where we want to get to, really. What we could do with her disappearing. Is there barbed wire on top of this? No, there is not. Well, more fool you then, for not having barbed wire. Oh my god, what am I stuck on now? Okay. We got yet. Uh -huh. Okay. They have the wheels themselves. What you think? Should drive, but I can't make it. Turn off the camera. Now without the right equipment. Bam. We're up. You'll manage, Carnal. Okay. And you? How's that third ride? Jose says we're moving her to a new Ripper Tech shop tomorrow. Ooh. Well, that's what he wants. Let's just. This is what I want to do. I want to find out who and why. What and why. You know? Can anybody else see us up here? I think they will be able to if we're not careful. So let's just slide on out. I think whoever that is is below us. Yep. We're gonna grab some beer. Okay. You fucking okay. We can go in here. Marvelous. Okay. Something there. Should we? Should we? Ooh, there's peeps in here. No, fuck that. That ain't our deal. Jose, you thought you broke the leash. But we merely loosened it. The deal was to attack your convoy, not an entire fucking Arasaka facility. You're testing our friendship, Jose. You... you... puta! Go ahead, bark away, make your noise. Ooh. Show me you're all so dangerous. Then scamper away like mice. It's nothing you couldn't handle. Arasaka? Pleasure talking as always. Fucking pinche Ramira de mierda. Huh. There we go. Oh, God, he's on the move. Alright, dude. Well. Where's he going? Oh, he's sitting down. Well. Will we be able to just 
grab him and kill him. Nice night, boy. Okay. Somewhere we can put him. A freezer or a box or something. Oh yeah, there you go. Freezer. Let's just pop you in there, sir. What? Oh, blast it. Really? Wait, that is, that is, that is. Oh god, now I'm stuck on a chair. Okay. Why can we not... What? Hold on, let's, let's, let's drop him. And pick him up again. See if that fixes it. No? God bless it. Well, oh, screw it. Put him down. I'm gonna have a good look around here. Uh, do you know what? Why not? So, is this something? Ah, here we go. Messages. Gonzalez Rivero's funeral. Okay, our friend of many years fell in battle during a shootout with the NCP pigs. Gonzalo Riviera. He was like a brother to us. If you want to pay your respects, not like it's a fudging choice, go to the La Catrina Funeral Home, praise to Santa Muerte, and remember she gives life as she takes life. Last warning. Here we go. Jose, our patience has its limits. We paid your bail because we already investi invested in you, and investments need returns, but you are not untouchable. You fudge up again, you get in another gonk shootout instead of our help you will get a rope around your neck remember arasaka pays for solving problems and punishes for creating new ones oh and stay close to the hollow we'll call you soon and tell you exactly how you're going to attack our facility remember that people need to die and that you have to use the military equipment we gave you the, to the media it has to look like a military squad attacked an arasaka facility that's all i see well, we have the, the necessary info. I'd quite like to um, have a little bit of a sniff round and see if there's anything else we can have. So... Somebody in here? Hello? Oh. No, I thought there was somebody in here. Never mind, never mind, never mind. All right. Ooh. Are we going to push our luck here? Okay, we might be pushing our luck here. But, okay. Smash bottle. The other side of this door. Take it. Hmm. Okay, why have I not got anything silenced here? No. Militech ammo. Each shell's like a signature, leaving behind a trail. A trail back to Militech. Uh-huh. Boom. Dead, and all eyes are on the corp. At least for a little while. <sighs> all right. Well, Johnny, thank you for that. Let's just, um... We need to go back to something a little quieter, I think. A little quieter. All right. We've gone silenced. Huh. Militech ammo. I kind of, I kind of want to shoot this dude, but I kind of don't. Well, Woo! feel like a fucking god. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Ah. Uh. Better stop praying. 
I'm just gonna shut this door. There you go. Okay. I mean, not exactly what I intended to do, but, well... Okay. Um. Kind of yes, kind of no. All right. Okay. Ow. Well, oh, madam, I'm so sorry, but then I'm not. Empieza a rezar. Ahora sí te cargó la chingada. There we go. All right. Well. Say it wasn't intentional, but you know what? Sometimes you've just got to do it. Concentrense en el pinche objetivo, carajo. Nice. All right. Well, we caused some destruction and some damage and some fire and for people to lose the legs, which yeah, all right. Oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Alright, give me those. Anything else here? What's this? Messages. Yep, saved. Save my life! Okay. Well. Nope. Interesting. Who would have thought? Well, well. Either they're planning a costume party. Or they're gearing up for a different sort of party. Hmm. I'm intrigued in either case. Same. D oh, hello. Very curious, you know. This is hella dodge. Oh, damn. I feel bad, but I just don't. I'm sorry. There it is. Shut up, let me shut up. I'm afraid all your colleagues are dead in the water. Hmm. See if we can get her from here. Hey cool, like a bus thing. Anyone else? Oh, shout there. I mean it is a bus depot, is it not? So that's probably why. Let's just pop. Yes. That works. All right. Oh, really? You didn't fall? God bless it. Alright, let's go back up. Well, hey! How awesome! Completely and utterly did them in. Uh, not a matter. Okay. We absolutely obliterated them by the looks of it. Left a lot of mess in our wake. Cans of drink, okay. where we've just been. Alright. Well, let's pop down. Is there anything else in here for us? Anything? Any goods? Oh, I'll have a look in there in a moment. Just look 
looked like a whole heap of garbage. Military hmm. truck. Can Who's you this? spot the two things that don't match? Give up. Hint one, Militech. Mm -hmm. Hint two, Valentinos. Mm -hmm. All right, Johnny. Good lord. Okay, is there anything else Militech in here that we should know about? I mean, we kn we know. Um... Okay, we know who he was working with, but who he was working with just happened to be. Arasaka. Oh, we've already been in there. Which in turn is also not ideal because it's Arasaka. And Arasaka are a bit of a nightmare. Devious and dangerous. Dangerous! There you go. Oh, I'm carrying too much. Never mind. We'll sort it out. Okay, let's have a look here. Messages. Yep. Yeah. I need your help. Oh, God. Been attacked. Files. What's this? Militech equipment technical. Yeah. Not really something we need. Anything in here? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. All right, well, let's, um, let's go and call Padre, then. Tell him the good news. Let him know that, hey, it's all good. Can we actually get out of here in one of these vehicles? I suppose. Just to kind of save us carrying stuff. <laughs> Get in. Okay. Alright. Okay. Padre? Good news, my friend. It's V. Took care of Jose. Yep. Nice work. Really, really nice work. Did you learn who busted him out after he killed that batch? Yep. Uh, Arasaka. 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 Yep. <laughs> You're telling me a mega corp was involved in the killing of some ordinary big cop? Yep. Joffrey's death was an accident. Jose was covered for another reason. I'm still listening. He and his crew were hired to launch a full-blown assault on an Arasaka facility. Yep. And do it using Militech equipment. Attacking Arasaka. On Arasaka's behalf. Shit. You need to get out of there. I know. Um... I could stay, try Seeing to find out I'm more. I'm already here. I could stick around, try to find out more. Won't find nothing you don't already know. Location's already blown. Okay. You did what? Excuse me? Spill. I'm just speculating God. here, but... Uh, Out with it. There's yeah. a good chance that Arasaka's looking to pick a serious fight with Militech. Maybe even all-out war. And? Jose's hit was meant to be their excuse? Kinda slim, don't you think? Yeah. It's not just Jose. I've heard of other cases. Same MO. This runs deep, eh? Um, why is Militech doing and nothing? Militech must have noticed Arasaka's moves. Oh dear. Likely. But Militech doesn't want more. They will delay, prepare, and prepare some more. That info's worth a healthy heap in some circles. Mm. Not this time, no. Not my board. Not my game. See you around me. Yeah. Be seeing you. There you go, Padre. Padre's finally given us the word. All right, what's this? Your bonus is ready to collect. I have one more favour to ask. Let's forget this ever happened. Gig closed. That's fine with me, Padre. Not a problem, dude. Okay. So, oh, we have to go and collect our reward. I thought we'd just transfer as the edits. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All right. What's going on here? Jesus. Can I just, just, just... Okay. Thank you. Let's just slide through here. There we go. Alright, folks. Let's see what we got. Shall we? What did we get? Did he give us anything useful? 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All right, folks. Well, do you know what? We will um, we will leave it there for today. Next time, we'll maybe do some more gigs, do some more cyber psycho finding, and then um, just generally take in the sights of Night City. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourself.